Lanier and Sons Video Game Reviews Alright, welcome to the first ever Lanier and Sons Game Review. The game that we're going to review today is Le is Life is Strange Before the Storm. It's a great game that I'm about to review. Uh, prepare for the review of your life 2 and 3. Maybe that's supposed to be the season pass or whatever. It's fine. The game was only 16 99. So, Life is Strange. Before a Storm is a story-based game. It features play your choice. The consequences of your actions and decisions will impact the world around you. The game starts with the one of the main characters from the first game, which is Chloe. Chloe is a complete edge lord. She she hates everything. She smokes cigarettes and she's underage. So, there's that. Another thing you should know about this game is in the settings, do not, and I mean do not, go into the settings and unlock the frame rate. I put the, I unlocked the frame rate and it worked terribly. It was awful. It was, it was stuttering. It was, it wasn't working. It wasn't working. Maybe it's just AMD graphics cards. I don't know. But, uh, it, it wasn't working very well. So, capping it at 60 frames per second still looks great, still looks good. Um, so, I'll start by saying that the game looks great. It looks great. Looks like the first game runs a little bit better. Except if you, you know, uncap the frame rate and everything. Uh, keep the frame rate cap. Looks great. Animates great. It's pretty smooth. Um, roughly the same mechanics. They've added a few other mechanics such as the back talk mechanic. You can back talk somebody and say something mean to them, and if they react positively to it, you can go ahead and uh, get what you want. Then the other part is the is the is the pit bull in the concert hall. I mean, why why is the dog in the in the concert hall? I don't really understand why it's there. I mean, who brings their dogs to the concert? It's not a seeing eye dog. It's a pit bull. Pit bulls can't see. In this game, you're a true rebel because the guy who's sitting on the couch smoking a cigarette tells you not to go up the stairs. But guess what you do? You go up the stairs. And then, once you go up the stairs, you lay down and listen to the music because you're tired from walking up the stairs. All right. And then here comes these dudes and they're pissed off. They're like, hey, man, why did you spill my beer on me? And she's like, oh, well. I guess I spilled it because you're stupid. And so then they break a glass and they try and cut her. And then her friend Rachel comes and saves her. And then they get away. Oh, yeah. There's also drugs in the game. A lot of drugs. There are syringes and cigarettes and weed. Your weed seller was in there. Uh, selling you drugs and that wasn't that wasn't very good at all all right so my summary score on life is strange I'm gonna give it an 8.6 out of 10 8.6 out of 10 pros good graphics good music good gameplay good characters good dogs good stairs good sketchy guys and the con is going to be the dogs there should be no dogs at the concert and another con is the the uh, uh, the expensive shirts nobody knows who this band is oh I freaking freaking knows who's band. I've never heard of them did anybody else ever heard them? Because I sure haven't. 8.6 out of 10. Thank you for watching the first Lanier and Sons review.